Local Weather Authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. At Dorset Automotive, we fly our American flags every day at the auto park. Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. It has been a sunny and hot day today and leading to a nice night tonight for summer kind of weather. The weekend, though, the big story is the heat and humidity. We're going to talk about heat index values here in just a little bit. Rain chances are kind of slim, but we might see a little rain late in the weekend. We'll kind of highlight that for you here in just a little bit. Speaking of the heat, here's what we've got. A heat advisory officially in effect for all of our Illinois counties. This goes into effect noon tomorrow all the way through the weekend until Sunday evening. The gray shaded areas in Indiana, that's actually a um, air quality alert. I'm pretty sure that the National Weather Service in Indianapolis will be issuing a heat advisory for the Indiana counties. Maybe not tomorrow. If they don't tomorrow, it'll be in there for Sunday. So bottom line, going to be hot, going to be humid for everybody. We've been talking about this comet out there, Neowise, and it's in the northwestern sky. Uh, it becomes visible about an hour after sunset, which is about 10:15 Eastern time, and it's out there for a little while. Um, so you find the Big Dipper, look below it, and you can see the dates and where it will be. Now you can catch it with the naked eye; it's kind of hard, but you can see it. However, boy, if you've got telescope or binoculars or great camera, look at this. Bruce Lip McLaren sent this picture in. Beautiful shot, man. If you've got some binoculars or telescope, check this out. It won't be back for 7,000 years. But it's still going to be out there for several more days, and it looks like tonight's a nice, clear night. Same thing tomorrow. Heat index going to be a factor, 105 tomorrow, 110 on Sunday. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a heat advisory for everybody by Sunday. And it stays pretty hot and humid even into early next week. So slow down and take it easy. Don't forget about the pets. We hit 90 for the high today. 69 was our low. 101, the record high. 53, your record low, set just six years ago back in 2014. Obviously, no rain with all of the sunshine out there. And most of the weekend is looking pretty dry. Late Sunday could be a different story. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow to start your weekend. And the river stage starting to get low in Terre Haute, just under five feet, still on the way down. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, we're in the mid 70s. Humidity high, though 91%, and the winds are light out of the southeast at about five miles per hour. Temperatures right now are running pretty much in the 70s, but the dew point numbers are high, above 70, making it a very muggy night. On the water vapor satellite, we had some showers and storms earlier south of the area. Those have faded away. There's a stalled front down there and some big storms up across North Dakota into Minnesota, now getting into South Dakota with a lot of wind with those storms. But of course, not anything around here. Everything looks good on the satellite and the radar. Again, those clouds off to the south are fading away and moving on. All clear on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar, so we're looking good there. Over the next 48 hours, everything looks fine tonight. Looks like a day tomorrow with partly sunny skies, hot and humid. Now watch late Sunday, and we'll stop the clock for you. We can't rule out an isolated storm tomorrow afternoon, but then late Sunday, little front may try to slide in, and right in there towards afternoon, late afternoon, evening, maybe a couple scattered showers or storms. So I'll we'll have to watch that for late in the day on Sunday. That front then kind of stalls near the area next week, so it does leave us with a chance of some scattered showers and storms as we head into next week. It'll knock the temperatures down a little, but not a whole lot. It's still going to be pretty warm, pretty humid. On this map, when you see the orange, that's the hot, and look, it pretty much stays over us over the next several days, so you know, we got plenty of heat and plenty of humidity as we head through the next week. So, forecast looks like this for tonight. Mostly clear, warm and muggy. Only drops down to 71. Then for tomorrow, the heat is on. Once again, 93. Heat index about 105. After that, temperatures will stay in the mid-90s on Sunday. Some scattered storm chances next week, and it stays hot. High still in the upper 80s. That's a wrap on the forecast. Now we'll head over to Omar.